So why do I use Plex? Well, there's probably three things. Um, just the, the devices that you could have Plex on, which is uh, right here. You could have it on iOS, Android, Windows, and Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, The Shield, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Amazon Fire TV, and Stick, Chromecast, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Smart TV, Home Theater, Web, Windows, TiVo, uh, and Cody as well, which is the newest one. Um, that's probably one of the top things I, I like about it. And two is just because you could actually um, share your um, Plex ID to to your family or your best friend, and they could use it as well. Now, um, the other thing, the the third is just a feature where you could actually continuous play from one device to another, and it have it. Um, sync up at the same time and you could either you could use a tablet your phone your uh, computer your um, media devices that streaming and it's just all one whole thing and it just stays on that and then um, just the fact that you could do that and you could actually share your login and all that is probably the, the best thing now right now I am on the web um, I'm gonna log into my Plex on my Chrome browser and you can see that it's launching right now and I could just stream away from this now that if you did see my video on the Plex add-on for Kodi that you kinda familiarize with what it looks like um, you could have have different servers over here that uh, you actually have to find and uh, and request an invite if they invite you and stuff like that so I'm just going through a bunch of servers right there and there's a bunch of lists click on another one if I want to go to the list as you can see there's 2389 on this server alone and just the fact that you could have it uh, random uh, shuffle right here or just play all <laughs> if you have that time or you could actually add a playlist and then like for instance if I did random it will just show me um, a random show that um, that's playing right now I mean movie wise and stuff like that and then you can see that there was no link that I chose and I could actually uh, just click on it and then if I didn't like that movie that guy I could just shuffle again and uh, it shows a thumbnail what's actually playing and then you could actually skip if you don't like that movie and so on so the other thing is you could actually change the depending on the server the quality of it if it's buffering too much for you or you could play the original and all that and um, another thing is you could actually cast it which I will show you um, later on in this video to uh, an, an Android TV device so um, let's get out of there real quick go back to home and go to the TV shows see as you can see uh, I started that one movie it started playing and I could continue uh, continuously play it from on the browser or if I went on my uh, phone or tablet or my uh, Android TV box then it could I could actually click play and it continuously play from where it left off that's probably one of the greatest things uh, and UI wise I think I like it better uh, it gives you kinda like that Netflix Hulu type of look uh, you can see the recent added and if I were to just choose any another server and you can see there's a bunch of lists and you can see right there and it has music uh, depending on the servers you're, you're actually on um, some of them have music and all so this is a browser now let's go on to um, the Android TV so here's Plex on my uh, Android TV Mi Box. I have it on my uh, Nvidia Shield TV and my phone and my tablet. And what's cool is you you can see that this is the Plex uh, movie that we were watching earlier. Um, I could continuously play from here and stuff like that. And I do have it recommended uh, whatever Plex recommends me. So um, here, let's go ahead to the Plex add-on. Uh, this is the way the Plex add-on looks. The, the On the left, this is all your recent stuff and then you categorize obviously and then this is the movie that we had played on the uh, browser on my Mac so if I were to press play continuously play and I could resume or play from the beginning so meaning I could just resume and continuously play from where I left off from 
whatever part of my house that I was in. So you can see that it's playing right now and you could actually go through the chapters if you wanted. If you wanted to change the resolution because it's I have a little buffering. Now this depends on the server that you're on. So whatever quality and how fast their speed is for you to stream. Now um, that's that and then on deck which is basically <clears throat> what I've actually continuously watched. Now these are the recent added movies. I can go from the TV show and I can shuffle at the same time whatever uh, episode I wanted to play. So that's actually one an another big feature that I like because sometimes you don't know what you want to watch. You can see that it continuously play from random uh, t uh, episodes from that thing. So if I were to just skip and you see that there's no link and it's fast. I don't have to choose a link, which is the best part of it. And uh, you can see the, the UI and all that stuff like that is is way better than any other player that I, I've seen. So let's go ahead to the movie section. Uh, it, there's a recent, continuous, and it recommends you a bunch of movies. So it kind of gives you that whole Netflix type of thing. Now, if I went to all movies and I wanted to shuffle because I really don't know what to watch, then it just gives me a randomized uh, movie to play. So you can see that right there. And uh, next movies are these ones as well. So I'm gonna stop that real quick. Um, you could actually sort it by uh, date added or name if you wanted. So this one had like almost 3,000 movies on his server. So that's basically a lot. <laughs> um, and all that and then you can switch servers if you want from whoever you want to to choose from um, that's probably the hardest thing on Plex is looking for an invite from all these servers so um, I'll have a down uh, link down below on how to get all that stuff so um, that's basically uh, on the Android TV um, on Plex so let's go ahead to my phone so right now on my on my my right now I'm on my um, Android phone the pixel XL and this is the Plex app itself. I could actually um, Scroll through the bottom and then choose the server if I wanted to let's stick to what I, I did earlier on the Continuously on the browser and all that stuff So you got your movie section TV shows and all that you could change the servers like I said earlier and from this part I could actually continue from where I left off on the browser from the Android TV to here so this will continuously play as you will see and I could just do the same thing uh, if I could change the resolution and all that I could do it and I could press stop the other thing is um, from here I could actually whatever else I was watching earlier on there and you can see it's the same UI same look and uh, if I wanted to go to the movie section I could go right here and see all that. Now you do see a discover and a browse. Discover is kind of basically whatever it is on right now um, that just recently added. But if you wanted to browse, you see the whole list. So if I wanted to randomize a movie like I did earlier, this will pick me a movie and it just chooses another movie for me. You can see that right there. And you can change this the way it looks, obviously. The folder and all that I usually usually leave it to where, where wherever it is so same thing for the TV shows obviously from there you can shuffle whatever TV show you want so for instance if I wanted to um, go with this one and let's go ahead and play one of these um, it plays the theme of it as well I don't know if you hear it but if I wanted to start playing this and I actually wanted to cast it. I could go from um, my B box um, right here, and it'll start actually playing it on my on my um, on my screen. And from there, I could I actually could um, skip, and then it'll skip on the on the show as well. You had seen right there, so that's kind of cool. That's basically on the app, uh, on the Android, you could actually disconnect and all that. So, 
So that's a whole sum of Plex itself, uh, the app itself on many of the devices. Uh, it's currently on uh, Kodi right now too, which is in beta. I have a video on that on my on my channel. So um, once you you download the Plex server on your computer, you could have whatever uh, movies and TV shows that you could stream and all that, and you could just go ahead and get the app for everybody else. Um, as far as um, devices, you can see the. Over here is your Playstations and Xboxes and Nvidia Shield, Apple TV, Android TV, Roku, uh, Chromecast, Android iOS, Windows for all those OS. And you can see that there's Kodi and you can use your browser, Plex Media Server. So it, there is a lot um, to, uh, Plex has to offer for you. Um, you could do the free version or the premium version. It's all up to you. Uh, this. I think it's probably the next big thing. Uh, you just gotta find servers. Again, I'm gonna list a bunch of servers down below, so where you could uh, check it out and stuff like that. So, and uh, I'll have all the information down below on the, the video description, so you guys could check it out. And again, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos, and follow us on Twitter at XBM Connect to keep up with the updates.